We are here with Mayor Ford Mina and Eduardo Lima, together, Mina Lima. Hello. Hello, Hi. Magonet. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you guys again. Thanks. We love seeing you guys again. Yeah. And in Chicago, no less. Yes. Where I am from. Oh, <laughs> it's funny because that, that, this is our second time in Chicago. The first time um, we came here was twenty twelve for LikiCon. Oh yes. When we launch our website, and we have only four prints in our little stand there, and it was amazing. But unfortunately, that time we didn't have time to see Chicago, and this time we had. We had yeah, they have. We managed they, to stay a little bit more. The wizards didn't let us out yeah, of the hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. very tight security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, now you have over three hundred prints. You said. Yeah. That are being sold and growing. Yeah. And growing. How's it going, Lima? Uh, you recently announced Japan expansion again, or in Osaka, you're returning to Osaka? Yeah, Yeah. well, previously, last year, we, we sort of tested the waters by doing a, a two pop-ups for a week each, um, but this time it's going to be a little bit more substantial, so it's really exciting. Yeah. yeah, so we've got some wizards working over there as we speak, actually. Yeah. It's yeah. to open it this uh, month, but we don't know yet. The exact, date. the exact date. And yeah. You said this month? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty exciting. That, that's going to be like a soft opening because the, the grand opening, <laughs> the grand opening <laughs> is when we're going to go there. We're going to go there in, in May, sometime in May as well. Yeah. But all the dates we will give to you later on. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. We'll check the website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's really exciting because I think that, that core of the world, you know, it's, it has the park, but there's not much else there and I think when we went before we had the most extraordinary reception from people and and somehow they they knew about Mina Lima as well as knowing about Harry Potter so um, um, we fell in love with Japan so we're going back. But basically our dream is to have a, a house of Mina Lima everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so many houses. Yeah. We need to have one here. We need to have one here. What do you reckon Chicago? Uh, well Chicago for sure. I did hear you guys were just in New York though. I don't know if that was related, <laughs> taking in some sites, or... Well, we do, we have another life, which is uh, designing books, so oh. uh, we work with some publishers. Now. Oh, I was going to say, we have the Illustrated yes. Classics, no, yes. with yeah. Harper Collins, so we went there talking about it, because we're launching a new one this year, that is Alice. Oh, uh, I saw the book cover during the presentation here, yes. it looked great. So in September, I think it's coming out. That's cool. No, we'd love to have a house of Mina Lima here. And especially in Chicago. <laughs> Great. Uh, we lost the bid for the uh, Skywalker Museum or the Star Star big Star Wars Lucas Museum a oh, couple okay. years ago. There were like some protests and things. People didn't want Star Wars here. Really? Yeah. So I think that... Maybe that because they're waiting for a wizard shaped. I think Harry Potter might, might win. Where Star Wars failed, so that'd be great. But where did this Skywalker Museum? Um, probably like two years ago. I think it's actually going in, I want to say Denver or uh -huh. San Francisco, one of the two. Could be wrong. But, uh, not my area especially, but uh, we did, we, it was something exciting that geeks in Chicago could look forward to. And House of Lima, I guarantee I'd get like the apartment across the street. So. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the members of MuggleNet staff that have been to London and, and any time, I, I visited, I think the season before it came out, before it opened, so I was very disappointed when it opened. I was like, ah, I missed it. Um, I have to go back to London. I will. I try. Uh, I need to renew my passport. <laughs> but uh, uh, I did make it out to Watford for the studio tour, and that yeah, was just, special. as always, a great showcase of your guys' work, and just the vast scope of those films, yes. mm. which is which is really super exciting. Um, you guys actually, so during the panel you talked about sort of the transition from, you thought it was going to be, you know, maybe a couple of weeks, turned into a couple of years, the films were announced, the, you know, to, they'd actually complete the series, and gradually turning into selling your work, selling, being able to get the license from Warner Brothers and selling your work. And that's sort of come to a head now with these personalized letters that I saw the, the intro video on, on the website, which, you know, brought a tear to my eye. Uh, because I imagine, was this not the first uh, prop that you designed? Yeah, I sort of, I, weirdly, it's kind of like Harry, because my it was my first, you know, yeah, my induction into the into the wizarding world i didn't really understand what was coming and probably in the same way that, that he did and um so it, it was that and of and of course i was the only person doing that piece um and i had to be mcgonagall for a moment uh, just as we try and become all the other characters when we're creating these props so it's been it's we we've we've asked a few times and now we've we've got permission to um both recreate 
Harry's letter um, with this hand, <laughs> um, which that still, still works. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. wow. uh, um, uh, as so at, well at as night, I. I put this head in like a little box. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Glass box. Lotion. Yeah, yeah, unscrew it. Unscrew it. <laughs> <laughs> Feed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, uh, and then also, uh, we also take orders for um, personalized letters. So on our brand new website that you've just seen, uh, you can type in your uh, requested um, name, address, if you want to have a cupboard under the stairs, that's fine too. But it's 100% uh, exactly back the, the paper, the, 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 the label of everything is the same that we use for the film. We still have I'm some just stock 20 years them. older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even the, the, the letters inside as well is all handwritten as well, yeah. so everything is, is, is exactly how it was. And, it, and, and sorry, the, oh, okay. the, it also... Um, we thought, well, we can't just send the letter out as it is because we yeah. don't have any owls uh, for everywhere and they get damaged and they're too heavy and people know those stories. Um, so we've created a, a really nice presentation box um, which is um, made from Japanese silk and is hand handmade and hand-blocked in gold um, by the same bookbinders that made all the books for the Harry Potter film. So we sort of kept it in the family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw the stars on the print. The stars, that was just yeah. so... Special and moving. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Um, here's a question. You did touch this uh, on this on the panel. Drawing inspiration. And you found you said you've really tried to find real world equivalents. Visiting the New York Historical Society for Makusa stuff, 1920s business cards, that sort of thing. Sort of outside of the existing sort of work that you can find, where do you draw inspiration as artists, as creators, as graphic designers? Oh, when we start, I mean, we were on a boat tour this morning of Chicago. Oh, you did the architecture uh, yeah. tour? And that's you know, what I and you're, yeah. you know, you find yourself without even realizing you're taking pictures of like the underside of the iron bridges because it's got a really interesting star pattern. Or the or, patterns reflected in the building. So, but, yeah, so, it, so. Look at this carpet. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's not great, but yeah. there will be a moment where that will be right for some design. So, the, you know, we. There's stuff around us all the time, unless it's a specific research project where you're actually honing in on that subject. Um, and remember, we are 400 years old. <laughs> we are like very long, not very old. You don't look a day over 300. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's sort of art history-wise, uh, are there any movements that uh, you're, you're really moved by or find? We used to love, not like the 50s and mid-century. Mid -century. But since we started working on fantastic pieces in the 1920s and 30s, I think now. So I think from a from a from a, a applied graphic graphics, yeah. uh, point of view, because so much of it was done by hand, and you look at the posters, and they're all crafted by hand, painted, illustrated, drawn, um, and to to be re asked to recreate that, you have to go through the same process. Yeah. You know, you can't really just kind of. Um, ask the computer to, to do it. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it's been a. Um, it's funny when you're researching for a film. I guess you're sort of looking at things in a different way than you might if you just enjoy. I don't know the Art Nouveau period as a whole. You're sort of you start to examine how things are printed and um, what was available to people, what kind of techniques were available for things, and that can that can also give you a new appreciation of how things might have been made, or it might be in, in ceramic tiles, or it might be in metal work, or um, printing techniques, so yeah, it's... And me, because we being Brazilian, and but now we've been gone for 20 years, I'm still in, so in love with all the Victorian graphics as well, I'm so in love, so in love with the way that the letter press, and, and yeah, so... And we have great museums to explore yeah. that in oh, London. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm trying to think, but between tiles, uh, tapestries, if there's anything you guys haven't worked on yet in the 20 years, Ooh. even just on Potter, that you'd love to. Hmm, because yeah, we've done fabrics, wallpapers, marble floors. Oh, we haven't done like mobile screen, anything like that. Oh, don't yeah. invite that. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason in the world we don't have mobile, yeah. But, yeah. No, but we have the, the Phoenix spoken of. The double that is the wizard. The equivalent the of face time. Face time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, for the, the way that Flamel and double dog, they talk in the second. FaceTime, that's so funny. It's a good way of, of putting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's not really a book. No, I was trying to see if it was like CCTV was my equivalent of like just security, because there's also some instances where they're just kind of overlooking. But they see each other, though. They yeah. see each other, that is FaceTime. They see each other, yeah, yeah it's FaceTime. 
I look forward to seeing that. Effect time. In, in the, uh, <laughs> that, that book cover is one of the glorious book covers. That's uh -huh. really wonderful. <laughs> Can't wait to see again. I'm wondering if it's sort of a pre ordered Phoenix. I don't know. That's kind of a. Theory. I, I mean, I wish we knew. <laughs> Literally. Sometimes when you're designing things, you're like, where does this go? What's coming out? No idea. Yeah. You just got to do your best for that story at the yeah. moment. Um, so, uh, again, about the shop, just switching gears here real quick. There's a request uh, that one of our staffers sent in. Uh, she really loves the posters for Globus Monday that you guys did down in the uh, Wizarding World. Oh, yeah. And is hoping to get some of those prints maybe available in the House of Mealima sometime soon. We we are going to Orlando on Monday, oh, no, on, on Sunday, and we haven't seen We still Globus haven't seen them in, oh. in its realization. We, we sent all the files from the UK. and yeah. was, So we're going to have a word with you. Yeah, so we can release those other yeah. posters. Yeah. They're so, so the travel posters are just yeah. so exciting. I love the Amazon one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paris is hit too with the black yeah. cat. Everybody loves the black cat. Oh, well, that's good to know that that's been spotted. Yeah, for sure. Um, you also mentioned humor in your graphics and being able to put, I mean, not, you know, to the point where it's jarring, but certainly because Harry's world is whimsical, finding the way, and I've always found your graphics to be hilarious, uh, as well as exciting and, and cool and engaging, or maybe the humor makes them engaging as well. But I think that'll be more important even ever than it ever has been in the, as these films, as the Fantastic Beasts series takes sort of a darker turn towards World War II. Do you have any comment on sort of keeping the, you know, humor, or keeping, keeping sort of a lighter tone in your graphics, or if you anticipate um, that still being the case as we wage war. I think maybe on the wizarding graphics, maybe we might be allowed to do a little bit like that, but on, on Fantastic Beasts it's different because we see a lot of the uh, Nomage world, so you need to be a little bit more you know, uh, uh, correct with the, what was happening. But yeah, it, it, every time it, we go off to the wizard, we might be able to... Well, but I, it, I it know, totally yeah. depends on the story. The story. I mean, yeah. If yeah. she gives us uh, material that that gives us the occasion to to express something more uh, lighthearted, then then we'll do it. But I think until we know what what that is, then you know, if, if we're designing for Grindelwald, there's we you know there's not much space. <laughs> for it, but it would be wrong to sort of we might bring style and design because let's face it, he does take great care of. His Top appearance, is, yeah. uh, his environment, his, you know, whether it's real or fake, we're not sure, but I mean, it, you know, even historically, that castle that he inhabits, we're sort of like, well, um, there's a real showmanship going on there. So it's it's down to the design, you know, the design team and the graphic design to to communicate that to the audience. Yeah. But I, yeah, in terms of the humor, I, I hope. So yeah. I'm still in there, but we, we won't know until we see the script. We mentioned showmanship. The circus is a great example, I think. Yes. Yeah, the banners and yeah. this very, very great feeling of grandeur. Yes. Really, in, in those scenes. And well. that's an interesting one because actually, most circuses that we're all familiar with, if you say circus or someone's mind, they'll think of spectacle and, um, you know, apart from maybe how some of the animals are treated, you will think of some. You know, it's positive, it's fun, there's humour, there's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a showy situation. Um, but, if, and even when we've looked at graphics reference from those, from old circuses, they're, they're very showy and, and there's a grandeur to them. But with this one, we knew from the start that, you know, talking to, to Joe and to, and to David Yates, that, that it had this slightly sinister yeah. twist to it. So, um, again, we had to sort of, rein that in a bit and try and show both a circus um, enterprise that needed to they come to, you know, when yeah, they're doing come, the posters, yeah, they're like, come to our thing yeah. because there's stuff going on, but we needed to show that there was also a bit of a twist um, to it. So um, those posters, the, the choice of typography and the colours um, and, you know, that Maledictus poster for um, Nagini is both kind of meant to make her glamorous but also it is a bit sinister you know yeah. it's there's a lot of black it's it, it the, the, the fonts are a little um aggressive slightly because when yeah, you so look like traditional circus was from that era they are much more fun and colorful and, and yeah it's it, and attractive it, it, yeah and this one is like yeah come 
like something cool to go in and see that, but it's much more serious than that. Yeah. I was just thrilled to have a team behind it that's doing their research and producing such quality. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really a, bl it's, it's a blast to see your work reflect the joy that I get from reading those books and you know watching those films and everything. It's just a truly magical experience. How many times have you heard that? Well, it's so magical. Um, but yeah, I know uh, we, there was actually uh, people have spotted uh, a circus poster in the first Fantastic Beasts film. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah, kind of just in a back alley or somewhere. Yeah, is that in the script? Do you know? Well, funnily enough, it it was, and the scene was cut. Um, so I think there was some decision to shape the end of the film that, you know, we we were we did design that with a view to. Is it that, was a hint of for what's them, coming, yeah. but I think it was a decision from um, you know the the direction and, and editing about how best to uh, inform what was was coming. But no, that was originally designed for that. And just sort of as a final question, I know looking forward, but keeping it with Fantastic Beasts, uh, the rumor, and feel free to not be able to confirm nor deny, but the rumor is that uh, we're heading to Brazil, possibly Rio de Janeiro. Um, and what are you from Brazil? Oh my God, I'm crossing every single finger that I have in my hand because I, I, I really, I really, yeah, can't, can't wait if, if, yeah, if we go there. We haven't started work on production, so we haven't read the script. We don't know. I know that there's lots of noise on Twitter, you know, from from Joe, from Dan, and, and but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hoping that yeah, because it would be amazing to show from the Wizard World from. You're gonna have to yeah. translate everything. Yeah, I'm going to work really you. hard because everyone in the department is going to ask me to translate everything. Yeah, oh, so. gosh. Anyway, until we're there, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. no, that's so. totally fine. <laughs> um, and uh, so again, where can people get these customized letters? Uh, just sort of wrapping up. www.minalima.com <laughs> Okay, yeah. And not only that, but we have got a brand new website. Oh, a brand new website to check from, yes. from this week. So, oh, wow. So it really is brand, squeaky, brand squeaky brand clean, brand. so forgive us if there's any... And it'll uh, And I know you'll probably be inundated with requests for those letters. Is there like a standard turnaround time or kind of? E yes, in fact, I. Um, Each letter takes like a, maybe a couple of days to get. Uh, done. But also it depends if there's, especially if it's a if it's a um, bespoke one for an address, then um, and a personalized one, um, we just need to allow because if we, you know, we're working on on other things and if there's a. If that yeah. right hand is busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like in um, the Adams family. It just goes oh. over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Because we, as I they said, not every single thing is, is, is like hand done. So, he, he, yeah, it can, he, he can take quite a long time to get one better done. From McGonagall. From McGonagall, yes. Oh. Do you wear, you should have wear a cloak when you are. How do you know I don't? That's why you wear. Oh, yeah. Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Yeah, it's great to catch up to you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.